Hi, I'm Yoni West from Westerly Design and I'm going to show you how we use our miniature fill templates. This is our miniature zigzag and we can do a number of four different size zigzag patterns using the one template. We have lines marked on them so that we can step them up and space evenly between each of the zigzags. I'll do the largest one for this video. So what I've done is I'm starting in the corner of a block that I've marked and we have a line that runs across the template and that will line up with the line that we have here. This could be a drawn line or a stitch line. And we're just going to sew up to the edge of the template. We're going to sew down. When we get to the stitch line we'll stop move our template across. We also have a line marked on the template here and on the other side to match and this is the line that we can line up on our zigzag. So we make sure that this line is in line with our stitch line and the line is lining up on the top. We'll keep sewing across. Then come down Move the template across, make sure our line is in line. This block I'm sewing on is an 8 inch block. When I come down to the line of the block where it's marked, I'm just going to stop. And I'm going to stitch up one quarter of an inch. And I will space these zigzags a quarter of an inch apart. So I'm going to move the line that's underneath to my stitch line. I'm just going to sew up until I hit the edge of the template. There is also a line marked here and that will line up with our center point of the zigzag and we will also line up on this line here with the center point of the zigzag. So we've got a couple of reference points to check back on. When we get here we'll stop, we'll move along. Now the quarter inch I'm talking about is a quarter inch spacing from the bottom point to the top next point. When we look at this it's not giving us a quarter inch between our stitches and the reason for this is we're working on the 45 di diagonal line. So it comes out narrower than a quarter inch. If you want to, want to go wider, go to the next line. When we get to our stitch line on the side, we'll stop again. I'll travel up that stitch line. This time I'm going to do a double line space, so I'll just travel a little bit further, and I'm going to move my light reference line not one, but two reference spaces up. So I'll line up here. I'm also going to check and see that my reference line is lining up with the point at the top of the zigzag or at the bottom. This line here lines through my zigzag points. So we'll just make sure we're in place here. I'll go up one more stitch. I'm going to use these as my two reference lines on this one. And we have a wider spacing for our zigzag. This is a great way to fill up those open spaces in your blocks. Move across, make sure our lines are in place. All of the miniature fill tools work in the same sort of manner. We're lining up our reference lines with the stitch previously stitched ones. You could say they all work similar to working a clamshell. So we have two different spaces here. Stitch up further and I'll do the same space again. So we're lining up our second line. We're making sure that this is in place which is telling me I need to move down one stitch. Make sure that's in place here.
move the template across, make sure we're aligned. These are really easy fills to use and we do get a really nice effect. Make sure we're lined up with our points again. I need to come down one more stitch down to be in line. Now my line is aligned, my reference line here is aligned. That's how we sew a zigzag. I'm going to do another line. I'll put a wider space in this time. Traveling up the edge. This is, could either be the edge of a block or it could be the outside of a quilt. I'm going to line one of my straight reference lines with the point of the bottom of my zigzag from the row before. So if I want to do a larger spacing, I can large up, line up on the third line or I can come down and line up on the fourth line, which I'll do this time. So I need to travel a little bit higher. What I'm aiming for is to have that line there touching my stitch and my line of the template is in line with the previous ones. So I'm in the correct position now. and this will give me a larger spacing. Move the template across, lining up with the points, making sure that we're lining up with that fourth line down. Moving across. We're in line, our line is in line. We're lining up with our stitch line. Come to the edge. And I'll travel up the outer edge again. So for this row, I'm doing the same spacing as we did on the first, which is lining up the first line making sure the edge of the template is in line with our stitches and this will give us a narrow zigzag. Moving across, make sure we're in line. Again, we'll travel along the edge. So I'm lining up this time with the second line, making sure we're running straight. This will be the last one I put into this block. when we're lining up on our second line. Moving across, making sure our second line is in place. And we're running straight with the zigzag pattern. We're also checking the reference line, which is here on top of our stitches. So that's our zigzag pattern done.